Today I'd like to show you a technique for making pancakes on an old Teflon pan, but it acts like a new Teflon pan. Remember when you first bought that pan and you didn't even have to use a spatula, you just shake it and it would come loose? Well, let's take this pan, we're going to preheat it and do what people normally do, which is take some oil. I'm using coconut oil here, my favorite, and I'm using quite a bit of coconut oil just to demonstrate that in fact um, a lot of oil will still not work on this pan. I'm spreading it everywhere, but as you can see, as it's doing its smoking thing, um, it's actually beating up in small sections, which means most of the pan is actually not covered with oil. So that means that it's really not touching the whole surface. So let's put some pancake batter in. Okay, that's the way it's supposed to go, the Betty Crocker style, right? So now let's try to shake this thing up. But try as I may, I can't make it move. So I have to come with a spatula here. And once you use the spatula, then it starts to kind of be like the old-fashioned dish. Oh, okay, so finally it loosens up. So since it's loose, we're going to do a zero-gravity flip now. We hope... Okay. But see the way the middle actually stuck there. The secret to making pancakes on an old Teflon pan that acts like a new one is coconut oil. But first, before I put coconut oil in this pan, I want to make sure the pan's cold. So let's put it in the freezer. This is coconut oil below 78 degrees. But if it's warm, it becomes a liquid. So, let's get out the cold pan. And we'll grease it up with liquid. But the liquid will turn solid because the pan is so cold. I'm going to pour the batter in to the cold pan, which of course is exactly what Betty says not to do. Betty Crockett, that is. And now let's take this thing Turn a full blast. I think you see a little bit of Newton's first law. A pancake in motion wants to stay in motion even when the pan stops moving. So, there you go. So it loosened up without you ever using a spatula. And now you'll notice that it's, it's bowed in the middle. The whole middle of the thing is lifted up. There's a steam pocket, pocket underneath there. So now it's time for a zero-G spatula-free flip. So we'll pull this guy off. Take this guy and go to the edge, and we have a flip. And you'll notice that it didn't even get all the way cooked. It loosened up before it was fully cooked, which of course means that if you fully cooked it, it loosened up even easier. So, let's see if we flip this guy once again so you get ready to eat. Oh yeah, so now we've got a pancake that's ready to eat, um, and I hope that you will try this out and have your ready to eat pancakes spatula free. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this cool idea, I have a way cooler idea for you. It's my invention, Math Magic Blocks. It's patented, it's fun, it makes learning math fun. Two plus 10 equals 20. Go figure. Go to my website, mathmagicblocks.com.